Welcome back to another episode of the Hermit Poetry Series. I'm Neil Aiken, and on this channel I read poetry, mostly work by contemporary poets, occasionally poems of my own, and once in a while poems from the past. Today's poem comes to us from Robert Bly, uh, from his, if we can get a better angle on this, uh, from his new selected poems, Eating the Honey of Words, published by Harper Perennial in 2000. Um, Robert Bly passed away earlier this week, so this is uh, this reading is dedicated to him. Obviously, it's his work. Uh, the poem I'm going to read is from his newer section towards the back um, and is a poem dedicated to another poet, James Wright, uh, and is entitled People Like Us. There are more like us. All over the world, there are confused people who can't remember the name of their dog when they wake up and people who love God but can't remember where he was when they went to sleep. It's all right. The world cleanses itself this way. A wrong number occurs to you in the middle of the night. You dial it. It rings just in time to save the house. And the second-story man gets the wrong address where the insomniac lives. And he's lonely. And they talk. And the thief goes back to college. Even in graduate school, you can wander into the wrong classroom and hear great poems, lovingly spoken by the wrong professor, and you find your soul, and greatness has a defender, and even in death, you're safe. Um, and that was Robert Bly, People Like Us, from Eating the Honey of the Words, Eating the Honey of Words, New and Selected Poems, Harper Perennial, 2000. Um, thank you all for being a part of this series. Um, I'm grateful for all of you who have recently subscribed to this channel. It seems like we've had a little bit of a flood of, in, well, let's see, a little bit of an influx of new, new subscribers and new viewers. Um, thank you all for supporting this channel in these small ways, uh, but significant to me. Um, by liking these videos, by commenting below, by sharing them on social media, or just subscribing to the channel. Um, it, it means a lot to me to know that this project continues to, to have some sort of uh, relevance uh, and hopefully some connection uh, with all of you and with people outside, <laughs> outside literally in the sense that this began at the, the start of the pandemic as a way for me to connect. And I'm grateful for the ways in which it helps others to connect with poetry and with poets all over the world. Um, I'm really appreciative of the work that, that poets uh, do in the world. And uh, we have, po poets are human beings. They're complicated people. And Bly himself was a complicated person. Some things we greatly admire. Some things were problematic and difficult. And uh, we navigate that. We navigate. But uh, at the heart of it is this the shared human experience. And I'm grateful for the ways in which poetry um, moments of vulnerability, moments of humor, and moments of, uh, uh, of blunt honesty. We can come to understand each other better. The, the poem opens a, a door or a window into the life of another person and conjures in our hearts and in our minds something of what it means to walk the path that they have walked or see the world through their eyes. And I'm grateful for the ways in which that can build a bridge. I'm always saying that. Poetry builds a bridge. But it does. In one line, one word, one image at a time, we come to a better understanding of each other and ourselves. So thank you for being a part of this journey, and thank you for building that bridge. Um, I wish you all the very best, and uh, hope that you find success and joy in your creative practices and that you leave uh, a legacy of, of good work and good words uh, wherever you are, uh, that your influence continues to grow. Um, thank you for being this audience and being a part of the movement to share poetry to a larger world. Um, it's my pleasure to continue to work on this series and to create new content. Um, I'm Neil Aiken. This is the Hermit, the Hermit Poetry Series, and... Uh, it's my delight to be here, and I'll be back again every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday with more poetry and more reading. So until then, all the best to you. Um, wishing you joy, warmth in the winter season, and opportunities to reflect and to consider 
what it means to write, what it means to create, what it means to speak, um, whether we're the first voice to open our mouths, first voice in a room to speak, or one who joins the chorus later but adds our own flavor, our own note uh, to that growing symphony. Um, so it is, uh, it's with great joy and honor that I continue to do this. Thank you for being a part of this, and we'll be back again soon. Bye.